Hi there. Now for this question, we had to solve this equation in this range. And you can see the answers to 1dp are 113.2 degrees and 293.2 degrees. So I'll take you through this just in case there were any problems. In equations like this, what we need to do is to reduce it down to one trigonometric function. And what you'll notice I've done is divide through by cosine x to each term. And that allows us to get tan x, OK? So our equation turns out to be 3 tan x equals minus 7 when we rearrange it. And then we can go on to make tan x the subject. It equals minus 7 thirds. And then you'll notice I've drawn a quadrant diagram here. I prefer that to drawing graphs, OK? So do check out my website if you're unsure of using quadrant diagrams, or some people call it the cast method. So for the quadrant diagram, the tan in this example is negative, And tan is negative in the second quadrant and fourth quadrants. So we draw a line then equally inclined to the horizontal line here in those quadrants. Marking these two angles in blue here as being the same. And then we mark in the angles that we require in this range. So turning in an anti-clockwise sense, we turn to the first line. Mark that in as one possible solution, x. Start again, turn anti-clockwise all the way around to the next blue line. And that's another solution. So when you take the inverse tan and minus 7 thirds on your calculator, Make sure you're in degrees mode. You should find the calculator then gives you minus 66.801 and so on degrees. Now, you'll notice that that corresponds to an angle turned in the clockwise sense from the initial line here. But I'm only interested in the magnitude of that angle. OK, this would be a solution, but we're not interested in this range. But I'm looking at the magnitude of it so that I can pick up on this angle over here as well. So the red X will be 180 degrees minus this angle in here, which is 66.801, so on degrees. And that gives me this answer here, 113.198 degrees. And then for the green one, all I'm doing is to get that one doing 360 degrees minus the 66.8 and so on degrees, giving me 293.198 and so on degrees. So when I round these up, I get the answers that we want. 113.2 degrees then and 293.2 degrees, both given to one decimal place.